Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Andy at Lawrenceville Garage. Today we're working on a little different project. We're going to tackle the air conditioning compressor for the Toyota LS Swap. The compressor that we originally had intended to use was from a 2004, I believe, Corvette. All the front drive accessories are Corvette because they tuck in tighter to the block. So that gives a little bit more clearance because in this truck, we really need all the clearance we can get to put the radiator, the electric fans, exhaust manifolds, uh, man the intake manifold. There's just a variety of things that we need clearance on. And this is just one item. And with the Corvette compressor, uh, really a couple of issues. One, this particular compressor is used. We don't know the history of it. So we don't know if it was working perfectly fine or if it could have had issues. I really don't want to go to the effort that we're going to to do a complete swap and redo everything only to find that the air conditioning has a problem and it was the compressor. So let's just rule that out right away. The second reason is in replacing this compressor, we can find one that's a bit smaller. With the motor mounts we had fabbed up, now this is a completely different thing for just a moment. Uh, we had them fabbed up, they looked good. We slid the engine back as far as it could go and this is the clearance on the Corvette compressor. As you can see, that's just a bit too tight. So we're gonna go with another compressor that's a little smaller in all their dimensions. Now in that picture, the one thing it didn't show was that the manifold where the hoses come off the compressor is on the back of the Corvette. So in addition to the plate literally touching the back of the compressor, off to one side is the manifold and that, and that sticks out at least an inch. So that's, that's a little tight in there. So we're gonna do a couple of things to fix that. One, is putting a different compressor. This compressor that we're gonna put in is a Sandin. The compressor itself is smaller in all dimensions. It's an inch shorter in overall length, which is great. And instead of the manifold fitting on the back to add extra length to it, it actually mounts on the side like this. So the hoses will come off this way. Also, the diameter of the housing of the body is an inch shorter in diameter, and the whole pulley assembly is about a half an inch shorter. But also, on the motor mounts, back to that for only a second, we found that I had some outside help on welding the tabs that uh, mounted to one of the brackets. And apparently, in the welding process, uh, maybe a little too much heat, I'm not sure, the tabs were not perfectly parallel. I was afraid if there was too much movement, there could be some binding. And it just, they were a little more snug than they should have been, in addition to the clearance that we were having on the back of the compressor and wanting to get the engine back a hair farther. Come up with version, I think this is 3.0 at least. Anyway, which worked out really well. And we're in the process of sending them and having them measured and made so that it will be a mount that not only works great for, now we're leaving the factory frame mounts in place. So utilizing that without cutting them off, we'll be able to utilize those mounts and slide the engine back and you can go back all the way to the firewall if you want to. Unnecessary, but you could. So there's some movement there, but also in the new mounts, we want to make them so that they are reproducible. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, back to the AC compressor. I'm gonna take all this off. Uh, first, I gotta take the tension off the serpentine belt to get the main belt off, and then take the separate air conditioning belt off. Then we can access all the bolts and we'll drop all the Corvette parts. And when I get them all off, we'll put them next to the, the sanding parts and show you the difference. Okay, we got the Corvette compressor off of the engine. It actually came off pretty easy. There was only a total of five bolts. And that's what the bracket looks like. It's pretty hefty with the five bolts. The bracketry for the, the new sand, and there's a lot less to it. And here's a size comparison. Man, it's quite a bit different. You can see, yeah, this, this thing is like at least five inches wide. And this one's about four. And then the height difference as well, pretty obvious. So that'll give us a lot of extra clearance. It's going to take a little bit extra time, but let's get the bracketry onto the block to accept the new compressor. One of the things I wanted to make note of, the kit we're using is by ICT Billet, and is not only is it made really nice, I mean, this looks like a nice quality piece. It's very sturdy, American made, but also the way it's packaged, uh, it's really nice. Like this bracket came in this package, and it's separately sealed with the uh, correct two bolts here. Uh, the other brackets here are in a bag, 
and each section is separated in a process so that the items aren't all mixed together. Real easy to sort out and figure out what you need. Unlike some of the uh, Chinese stuff I've gotten in the past that gives you a bag of bolts and uh, you have to figure out what's going to work. This should make installation much easier. Okay, this is the first bracket installed. Just these two bolts and that upper bracket right here. Install fit perfect. And here's the finished product installed. Very slick. Installation was very straightforward. The instructions are excellent. And uh, it fit perfect. There were no issues whatsoever. There's definitely extra clearance. The hoses are going to come off of here and it should clear the heater hoses uh, easily. Altogether, I'd say it was an excellent investment. Looks really nice, tucks in nice, just excellent quality. Hey guys, that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet, keep you up to date on kind of where things are. We are moving forward with it. Sometimes it's three steps forward and two steps back. But with the mounts, they're coming up. I think they're going to be great. You're going to like them. This is all ready so that when we do get the mounts, we can install the motor, start working on other projects like the exhaust manifolds, radiator, and things like that. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your thumbs up. See you next time.